Is Disney wartime animated era the worst era of all time? Let me know down in the comments below what you think and we're going to be talking about. And today we're going to be ranking all six Disney wartime era animated films from my least favorite to my favorite. We're going through this series in anticipation for Strange World to come out of all the different Disney animated eras. And so going right into it, coming in at number six we have Saludos Amigos, one that's an anthology of stories, much like the rest of these stories, that just compiles a little bit of a strange mixture one of the starting movies of this era and just really compiles this uh, odd sort of things that's just really boring and don't really stick throughout and I almost forgot that I even watched this one before seeing this again upon rewatch because of the way they're going about these different stories and none of them really stick and even in anticipation for this, I really had to write down a few notes before really getting to talk about it. And coming in at number 5 we have the three Calaveros and overall this one again was a little under the same floating boat of what you're getting with this thing. There's a little bit more substance what you're getting with it but overall when you're getting into the last 15 minutes it just sort of dies out going into such an odd obscure look at Donald and the other two birds getting fascinated by human woman which just such an odd taste that you're getting that made me really uncomfortable but this one is above the Saludos Amigos just because it had a better start to it even if some of the stories are still not so memorable being a compilation of shorts. And coming in at number 4 we have Fun and Fancy 3. The one that it has two films that overall it has a general idea that you're getting something out of it. You're getting Jack and his Beanstalk type of sale from Mickey and this other one that still carries that much more substance and while it isn't one that's super memorable as it's not a full length feature story that I personally stick to a lot better and I can hold on to the ideas better. Overall it still holds that much more because of the longer length of each episode and just how well the story is crafted and they have something of a story and message to tell. And coming in number 3 we have Melody Time, one that again I sort of forgot about this one but it still has some that really stick out in the stories that uh, just add some vibrant with the music that actually integrates well within the stories themselves gives you a little bit of a laughter even if some of the stories are still it's just a little bit of a letdown just because of the way they're integrating these type of stories but that leaves at number two the adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad a couple different stories I thought it was all one film just going into the idea but the adventures is meant to be two separate stories Ichabod and then Mr. Toad and the way they go about this Sleepy Hollow story with Ichabod and Mr. Toad having his own court case type of thing, the suspicions you're getting with the trials with him and the just different conflict that is all gone within the trial and how he gets arrested and how he has to free himself throughout this whole story it has something to really remember and the Sleepy Hollow story especially it sticks a little bit well especially if you know a general idea of the Sleepy Hollow story and just leaving some things open makes it a little bit more intriguing and something to remember but that leaves that number one make my music the one Disney film that isn't even on Disney Plus I had to integrate and go through YouTube watching a bunch of things that a bunch of short videos that made up the whole film so I hope I watched it all but the mem memories of the music and how it stuck with me I didn't even have to rewatch this unlike some of the other films because of the way the vibrant atmosphere and some of the stories despite it having some of the most stories there was about eight different stories but you're getting all these different adventures and all of these different melodies that just really stuck with me all throughout this time I mean I've only seen it about a year ago but unlike some of the other films that I watched roughly the same length away this one I still got something to really write home about and just still enjoying the ideas and I would 
me for rewatching this a lot more often than some of the other ones because it's one of the worst Disney animated eras. But so that just leaves my ranking and I'd love to hear your ranking. Have you seen any of these wartime era films that just was a tricky complicated era for Disney to go through in the animation department? So thank you for watching. Be sure to check out the other era.